prove by induction that for any positive integer n, 1 cube plus 2 cube plus um, n cube equals 1 plus 2 plus n whole square. So, um, to prove by induction, so before we start the proof, I think there's um, one thing we need to um, be certain of, that is, uh, we need to reuse, I should say, that is 1 plus 2 plus um, n, you know, sum to n terms of a series, that is equal to n times n plus 1 out of 2. So we will be using this sum to n terms of a series here. So um, that's why we need to um, remember that. So to prove by induction, we first prove that the statement is true for n equals 1. So if I say the statement holds true for n equals 1, in 1 cube equals 1 square. It holds true for n equals 2. So we'd have 1 cube plus 2 cubed pl equals 1 plus 2 whole square because 1 cube plus 2 cube is 9. And 1 plus 2 is 3, square is also 9. So the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So we can say this holds true. Um, suppose now it holds true for some positive integer n equals k. So we write that. Suppose this statement holds true for some integer, of course, positive integer, n equals k. So therefore, we can write 1 cube plus 2 cube plus k cubed equals 1 plus 2 plus k whole square. So now, by induction, what we can say is, if it's true for n equals uh, k, we can say that it would hold true for n equals k plus 1. So if this were to hold true for n equals k plus 1, so now we make an assumption that we assume that uh, this holds true for n equals k plus 1. So if it holds true for n equals k plus 1, then we should get, when we add up the cube of k plus all the k plus 1 terms, you add up the cube 1 cube plus 2 cube plus k plus 1 whole cube, we should get 1 plus 2 plus and so on plus k plus k plus 1 whole square. That's what we should get. So let's see if we get that. So assume this is true for n equals k plus 1. Then we can write, uh, therefore, then the left-hand side would be, uh, so I can say the so left-hand side is um, obviously this one. This bit is left-hand side. And that's the right-hand side, so the of the equal sign, right? So then the... Um, at the left hand side, so therefore, um, 1 cube plus 2 cube plus, plus k cube plus k plus 1, we've introduced another term, so the next term after k would be k plus 1, so whole cube, so therefore this should equal 1 plus 2 plus plus k plus k plus 1 whole square. Now we don't know that. We have to prove the right hand side. Okay, So we have to prove it. Um, so now wait, let me write it down. So it will be easier to understand. So plus k plus k plus 1 whole square. So this is our right-hand side. 
and this is our left hand side prove that left hand side equals right hand side that's our job to prove the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so we look at the right hand side so if i write the so our left hand side sorry not right hand side left hand side is one cube plus two cube plus plus k cube plus k plus one whole cube and that equals you see we've already written that one cube plus two cube plus k cube equals this so we can replace the one two k cube with one plus two plus plus k square plus k plus one cubed so this is equal to so now we need the sum to n terms formula so this equals sum to k terms so one plus two plus and so on plus k whole square would be not square the sum to sum to k terms would be k times k plus one out of two and square of that plus k plus one cube of that okay so now we can take some terms outside the bracket so that would be k plus one whole square so if we had k plus one whole square out of the bracket within the bracket we can now write k square out of four k square out of four plus k plus one because from the k plus one cube uh, k plus one square went outside the bracket so we can write this and that equals k plus one square multiplied by k square plus four k plus four divided by four and you see that that would equal k plus one whole square out of four multiplied by this term here is nothing but k plus 2 whole square plus k square plus 4k plus 4 k plus 2 whole square so we can write that equals times k plus 2 whole square and i think our proof is done because what it now says is that equals k plus 1 square k plus 1 so we can write this as k plus 1 times k plus 2 divided by 2 whole square and what is k plus 1 times k plus 2 out of 2 if we now relate this to this we can say that that equals 1 plus 2 plus plus the k term k term plus the k plus one -th term i can put it in the bracket and the square of that so we have proved that is is equal to the right hand side of the equation so le left hand side being equal to right hand side and our proof is done